my life's mission to get people to live a healthier lifestyle, and I'll use unusual tactics to get my way. Come on! I'm a detective, spying on people. I create a case, I start investigating, I look at their lifestyle. Micah is an entrepreneur and a musician with a big personality, but he's developed several patterns that are working against him. He's lost his rhythm, and in the last 10 years, he's endured several personal tragedies, including a custody battle for his four-year-old daughter. And throughout it all, food has been his comfort. Micah needs to learn the concept of responsibility before it's too late. My mission, to convince Micah to let me spend the week with him. This way, I can help him change his unhealthy patterns. After that, he'll be on his own, but not for good. In four months, I'll come back to check to see if he's made those changes. I'm Charles Stewart Platkin, the Diet Detective, and Micah is my next case. For most of my life, I've been overweight, but once I realized I could break that pattern, I was determined to help others who struggle as I did, transforming their unhealthy patterns into healthier ones. Because no matter how hard you try, you can't change the outside until you change the inside. I'm Charles Stewart Platkin, the Diet Detective, and I'm not just here to help, I'm here to save your life. When I saw Micah's video application, I could see that he has a huge heart and that he is just a funny, charming guy. But you can only hide behind that wit and that humor for so long. My name is Micah Molinari. I'm 31 years old. I've been obese for about 10 years. I kind of let myself go, let myself into this rhythm that I shouldn't have gotten into. Fast food lunch, guilty. Fast food dinner, guilty. Fast food at 2 o'clock in the morning because I'm hungry before I go home, guilty. I have this beautiful four-year-old daughter named Sydney that I need to be around for, that I want to be around for because she's my life. And when it really comes down to it, not a heck of a lot else matters. I need to do this now because I'm afraid I'm not gonna survive the next 10 years if I keep going the way that I'm going. Micah uses his wit to hide his weight, but I need to get through to him, help him to see the real Micah. I know he ordered a pizza for lunch, so I'm canceling that order and I'm delivering him a new life instead. Here we go. Hello. Hey. hey. Things are gonna change today for Micah. I mean, this is it. Wait, does this just make sure this is the pizza that you ordered? You ordered the healthy pizza, right? <laughs> no, I'm not sure that I did. <laughs> Micah, you don't know me, but I know you. I'm Charles Plotkin. I'm the diet detective, and I want to save your life. Wow. Good <laughs> God. That was a... That was a wake up. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's amazing that you're here. I know your struggle. I know what you've been going through. I know you have a four-year-old daughter named Sydney that you want to lose the weight for because you're worried about your health. I also know this is something you've been wanting for a long time. Yeah, it's, this is the world to me. Can you trust me to help you with this? A hundred percent. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're not going to start tomorrow. We're going to start right now. Oh, God. I'm going to actually make this because your pizza's not coming. No. This is it. You know that, right? What he has to offer and what he says he's going to do for me and with me, it's gonna, I, it's gonna change my life. It's just that first push. All you need is that first push. Can you cut up garlic? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I wanted to show him immediately, upon first meeting me, that you can do better. And then I'm gonna want you to cut up, cut up let's see, we got some vine-ripe tomatoes. You understand this is 100% whole grain crust. You really can't get this in a pizzeria. Okay, this crust will offer you more fiber, more nutrients, and all the things that whole grain can offer you. All right, and everything you're gonna eat now, when it's you know, bread or pasta or things like that, is gonna be 100% whole grain. It actually looks like a really good pizza. It takes about 20 minutes for the pizza to cook. Within that time, I wanna see his kitchen. For Micah's own good, he needs to get rid of those unhealthy temptations. Can I preface? No, absolutely no. not. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear any dialogue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there's not a lot going on. There's almost nothing going on, which is not good. This is going in the garbage. Okay. <laughs> it boggles my mind how someone could live like this. Sweet tea. It had to be sweet. Sweet tea. What are you? No, like? it's unsweetened. Oh, they labeled it wrong. 
like, yeah, right. It was a little frustrating, you know, and these are the foods that I eat, and he's basically symbolically showing me that my life needs to go into the garbage, pour that out, and a new one emerge. You have nothing in your cabinets. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess, in some ways, because at least we have a starting point, which is nothing, and we could fill it in with the right things. Right. Okay? And... It's a big hole to fill. But we can do it. All right, let's, let me take this pizza out. Now look how pretty this is. That is gorgeous. That's a really good pizza, man. Well, I mean... So why is this healthy? You really don't believe that anything healthy could ever taste good, right? I can't believe something that looks like this tastes like this, like something that I know to be a good old pizza. I think that's the key thing with someone like Micah. It's a show and tell. It's not simply just tell, it's show and tell. And he got it, and I was excited about that. Got any soda or tea? <laughs> Micah makes me laugh, but he also hides behind that humor. I don't want him to use jokes to mask important issues. For a long time, he thought it was funny to weigh himself at a friend's veterinary office. Well, let's just say it's not funny. Let's get on this. All right. $3.99, that's where you're locked in at. $3.99? Are you out of your mind? Wow. It means to me that I've even let myself slip even further than where I was. I'm practically 400 pounds. Like that in itself gives me even more drive to get this weight off. The next step is for Micah to understand how he reached the number on that scale. He's been through a lot for someone his age. He tells me about two failed marriages and the death of his father from leukemia. I didn't know what sadness was. I didn't know what depression was growing up. And all of a sudden these things hit me and I didn't know how to handle them. Of course, none of these things helped my marriage. I mean, how can you be happy with someone when the world is crumbling around you? So I ate or drank, you know, to kind of like calm those. I would go to a fast food restaurant, order four or five cheeseburgers, a large fry and a large Coke, and just waited till I got that full feeling that was almost kind of like a sedative to me. Okay. And it was a way for me to feel something that was normal for me. Having that full satisfied feeling that's all I had. It's not easy talking about all these things, is it? It's, it's easier to not talk about these things. It's easier to just put them away. Can you see how this is about what's inside you? Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna show you that the choices that you make in your life are not random. And the things that you told me, while you can't control them, you can control your response to them and you could make better choices in your life with your food, with who you choose to have relationships with, with how you handle everything. When I saw the look on Micah's face, it was genuine panic. Oh, wow. You all right? I can't wait to see how Micah looks. <laughs> wow. You ordered the healthy pizza, right? <laughs> Micah has agreed to let me move into his life for a week. This way I can get to the bottom of his lifelong struggle with weight. $3.99? Are you out of your mind? I'll be teaching him new eating and exercise habits, but then he'll be on his own. In four months' time, I'll come back to check on his progress. With nearly 200 pounds to lose, Micah has a long way to go. And the sooner yeah. we start engaging his muscles and establishing a solid physical activity plan, the faster his metabolism will work to burn that extra weight. Strides up. I like this because it doesn't have as much impact on your, on your body. Yeah. Right? Yeah, especially with the uh, back. 
And the other stuff we're gonna do is we're gonna build up your core, okay, which is kind of like the girdle around your midsection. Right. right. So that you don't have back trouble. <laughs> I'm holding. Okay, good job. We're gonna do 30 seconds. You know what it's like to have fire running through your body? Yeah. Try holding up almost 400 pounds with your hands. Your life depends on it. You got 10 seconds left. Nine, eight. After a while, it starts to hurt. Six. Six. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That man pushed me. I thought I was going to die. But you know what? I didn't. I got through it, and I feel all right. You're doing very well. Oh, thank you. So are you. For a lot of people, the prospect of losing weight, it's genuinely scary. They mistakenly believe that losing the weight will also mean losing a crucial part of their identity. It's understandable, but it's just not true. How are you feeling? The first couple of days yeah. were hard. I'll admit. No, I think you're in a great place, and I think you have a great attitude. And I hope that you never lose the sense of humor that you have, which is just, it's, it's great. You hope that sense of humor is not hidden in, in the fat somewhere, and then well, when I get skinny, I'm like, you know, all serious. I know that won't be the case, but I think that maybe you might fear that. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's a very good point. I am kind of afraid of the person, the skinny me. One of the things I could tell you is that you will be treated differently. Yeah. But you will never be different. You're the one that's charming. You know, you're the one that lights up a room and adds joy to people's lives. That's never gonna go away. I hope you're right. No, I am right. Okay, you are right. <laughs> he says I'm right, but I think Mike is still genuinely terrified that he'll lose his sense of humor if he loses the weight. So I bring him to the Imaging Center at Broward Health Weston so he can take emotional responsibility for the fact that the only thing the extra weight is giving him is serious health risks. So Dr. Oster, can you kind of give us an overview here of what's going on? So what this shows is the dark area here is fat, which is low density, that's why it's dark. And the high density is bone, and that's, why, and that's white. So this is all fat here. One of the things that I think is critical here is the visceral fat. And can you just point to the visceral fat? The dark on the inside is visceral fat. The visceral fat is the fat that is the most dangerous. That's the fat that puts you at increased risk for heart disease, stroke, diabetes. When I saw the look on Micah's face when we were talking about the health risks, it was genuine panic. And there should be, because this is so serious. And this guy, with all his great humor, he's got to like cut through that and, and just, you know, like get into him and see this, please. I know I like to, um, you know, make jokes maybe even in the most inappropriate of times, but definitely this was not a time to make a joke because this was serious. That makes me sad. <laughs> that makes me want to get rid of it. I think the most powerful thing that Micah sees here is that his life is in jeopardy and that he might not be able to be around to see and live the joy that his daughter could potentially bring him. I think you've got it here. Oh, I'm clear as a bell. OK. The CT scan obviously struck a chord for Micah, but if he's going to break these unhealthy patterns, he needs to come up with ways to eat fast without eating fast food. I didn't even know they made fat-free half and half. <laughs> and fat-free milk here, skim milk. Okay. Blueberries too? Affirmative. Beer can be very high in calories, but if it's between mixed drink and beer or wine, I prefer you drinking beer. Really? Yes, really. This is exactly what I was looking for for you. Okay. You and the fast food, it's just a disaster. You know, I've been in these situations before where I'm kind of, you know, rushing around the whole day. All of a sudden, you know, the hunger strikes. It's almost, it's almost like a storm comes, you know, right? I, yeah, I know what that feels like, yeah. I think it would be great for you to have frozen foods when you're hungry, boom. Gotcha. In, in four, three, three to five minutes, you're eating. All right, so we're gonna grab a bunch of them. Okay. Okay, and we'll taste test them. What'd you say, what'd you want? The burger. 
Oh, okay, it's a veggie burger, is that okay? Yeah, <laughs> sure, why not? All right. They're simple, portion controlled, and much faster than fast food. So we're grabbing 16 different meals, and he's going to taste test all of them. This is a grilled chicken fiesta, okay? Go ahead and take a little Yeah, take a little taste, go ahead. One to 10. Mm -hmm. nice one. Seven. Seven, okay, yeah. all right. I know when people see this, they're thinking, and Micah was no different. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm gonna be eating frozen dinners. Like, what has my life gone to? Well, your life has gone to a new level because you could see that these are tastier than you ever imagined. They're lower in calories than you ever thought. You can weave these into your life and as a result, live a healthier life. This is slow roasted turkey breast. I'm gonna go eight. Roasted garlic chicken. What do you think? Meh. Not so much. Chicken Santa Fe. We have a dragon shrimp lo mein. Chicken Florentine. Oh. <laughs> Garden pasta vegetable. Oh, pasta. <laughs> No, okay. It just tastes like diet food. Salisbury steak with mac and cheese. Ooh. And I know that this is something this that- is, This is still one of those low calorie. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I know, I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> 10. 10, so wow, saying. a 10, yeah. I'm impressed. Wow. That's really good. So for like 50, $60, you could basically taste test all these meals. Right. And then you right. could fine tune what you like, so you're not trying to you know, live a healthy lifestyle and eating foods that you don't like. That's not a diet. That's not a healthy way of living, okay? I agree. And you stock your freezer. It's portion controlled. You know exactly what you're getting for what you're eating yeah. in terms of calories. Are frozen foods perfect? No, but they're a good start. You just have to watch the sodium. It's best not to go over 2,300 milligrams a day. In the past, healthy frozen foods, but now, I tell you, found some stuff that I really liked. Not bad, Charles, not bad. I think no, this is right this where is, you live. This is awesome. Okay. Mike has been working hard all week on his physical and his emotional journey. He's shown incredible strength in the gym. He's replaced fast food with healthier food. And I think he's finally taking emotional responsibility for his life. But now, it's time for me to leave him on his own. This is about you. And in that spirit, uh, I have something for you. I um, have this picture oh my of you goodness. and your daughter. And uh, there's a little note on the back. Dear Daddy, I love you so much and want you to be around for a very long time. Long, long, long time. Get healthy and get that rhythm back. Love you, Sydney. Oh, man, <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. So I want you to have that because that's your shining star. And you can use that anytime you feel like you're going off track. I will. Thanks. I can't wait to see how Micah looks. He's got a brand new apartment and a brand new life. Ta -da. Wow. <laughs> Micah's journey all began with his video application, but it really started with his desire for a healthier and happier life. He trusted me, and in return, started trusting himself. It's been four months since we spent that week together preparing for his journey. I wonder how far he's come. I can't wait to see how Micah looks. He's got a brand new apartment and a brand new life. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Is Micah here? Uh, yeah, hold on, let me get him. No. Oh my, how much have you lost? 104 pounds, man. Look at you. Thanks to you, man, come on. Oh my, 
am like in shock. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I was actually able to get to 100 pounds and then surpass it just made me so happy. And to give that back to Charles also, you know, to say, hey, look, look what I accomplished because of what you've given me. I didn't think I was gonna get there, but I'm so happy that I did. You look amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's incredible. So what, what was your waist when you started? Like what pant size? Like this is the same belt that I had when I first started. It was, it's ridiculous. And you were on the, wh I, I was on the, the third loop and made my way all the way. And I, it's oh good because God. I'm keeping, I'm keeping this belt because it, it has grommets all the way around. Are you going to snip it? like you're, it you're wrapping around you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what I loved about what Charles did to me at first is he said, I want you to eat as much of this. I want you to eat until you're filled to the brim. This wasn't about starving myself. This was about just changing to the right kinds of foods. Now look, I know this is a little bit cliche, but uh, check this out, man. Look at this. Oh my God, you're, ha you're ha literally half the size. Yeah. <laughs> he showed me that the change had to come from in. You have to change your habits first. Change the way you think about food. Change the way that you react with food. And that was my biggest problem. And now I look at myself and I make more sense to me because this is who I was inside and this is who I need to be. So I'm more natural with myself. I'm more natural with other people. I'm a little bit more laid back. I feel fantastic. That's so I feel good. Fantastic. And I'm not even done. I'm not done. I still got a long way to go, but no, you look, this is it's, it's great. You're an amazing person. You've done an amazing job and I'm really impressed with you as a person. Well, man, I, I not to get sappy whatsoever. <laughs> Man, you saved me. That's all I can say. And I love you for it. I really do. It's you're an amazing person, and thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you, man. It was a pleasure to know you and honor to meet you. I know you. <laughs> it's nothing that I've ever felt before. It just gives me life. I feel like I'm alive for the very first time.